this is the editing in the multi-track view and there is just a myriad of ways to edit these regions inside this window every way you can possibly think you can do it right here in this window and I went through the manual and took out some of the most common what I think are the common editing moves uh, essential editing moves and uh, we're, we're gonna go over all those and you'll have a real good grasp of how to edit regions inside the multi-track I'm not teaching you everything because it would just take forever there's just a million moves once you learn all these things you can go through the man help manual and and find certain specific moves that you might use all right so let's get started okay up here you have your edit uh, in the edit menu you have your undo's your control increment le right or left to uh, redo or undo any edits you've done important to know those and we'll start off with tabbing you can tab the cursor to the different regions just by pressing the tab button that simple and to get back you hold the shift key down and tab and that will take you back tab forward shift tab backwards that's how you tab you can change the names of regions I showed you how to do that in the regions view video but I'll also show you here you can just click on that region go right up to regions and rename it you can name it whatever you want we'll name this uh, 345 there you go we named it 345 that's how you can rename them right there all right let's where are we going next here okay one way to selecting regions and areas in the multi-track in normal mode and that's what we're in right now we're in normal mode if we were to go up here and click this we'd be in select mode but right now uh, the, the help manual calls this normal mode and of course you can you can wherever the cursor is you can press the the uh, the, the B key and put the cursor wherever you want it and press the E key and you've selected a marked area marked area that's one way to do it another way to do it would be to click down here left click down here and drag you can select that way and you gotta remember one thing you gotta understand is that we're selecting this in the hot track and that is uh, you can tell by the lines here the highlighted lines this is the hot track this is the hot track very easy to understand now if you're selecting a marked range in the track and say I did this right here and I had 40 tracks going down technically I have selected that area in all the tracks I just want you to understand that because you might use this uh, when you're doing mix downs or edits across tons of tracks and stuff like that M the moves we're doing here are only affecting these uh, this this track and here I'll show you just so you understand what I'm talking about see I'm gonna select uh, say I'm gonna select this area right here and I'm gonna press the delete key I didn't delete these but there are moves like uh, if you're doing the levelizer uh, in the levelizer you can mark out a a marked range to to test uh, that area in the levelizer and you're marking that whole range when you go up here to process mix down it's gonna process that area in the marked range that's what I'm talking about there but let's undo getting getting confused here with myself but okay let's get this guy I'm gonna show you how to do this in a second okay so we we were marking areas so we can we can mark them that way and with the B and E key and you can also uh, you know to clear stuff you just press the C key that clears it clears your marked range and uh, did I show you the end key and the home key the uh, the end key is gonna put the cursor to the last the end of the last region so if I have a region that is uh, over here, I go home, 
and this is my hot track. Watch when I press end, it's going to go to the to the end of that one. Important to know that. All right. Let's see. Let's stay on uh, course here. You can also select mark begin and or mark regions while the cursor is playing. So I'm going to hit the space bar and we're playing. I'm going to press the B key and see it starts. And where I want it to end, I press the E key. And I, and I marked a, a, a range, an area that way. Press the C key to clear. That's another way of marking in normal mode. And uh, I think that goes, that, that's enough there. I think that's it. And uh, another way here, one more way. If, if I was to hit the, the control key with the B or E key, wherever the cursor is, it's just going to select that region. Here's the control E key. See it? Very easy way to select a specific region when you're not in select mode. Just like that. That's a control B or E key. And another thing to understand when you're doing this is if you have uh, soft edge on this, say if soft edge on this uh, region here, and you want to select the region and the soft edge, you would hold down the Alt key and press the B or E key. Now that region and any soft edge is, is selected so that if I move it, the soft edge will go along with it. That can come in handy. So remember, that's the Alt, B, or E key to select everything. That's what I use, just everything. But you have the option not to use the, the control key. There's options. There's so many options in this program. It's amazing. You can, you can learn the things that you're going to use the most, and it's there for you. The program will do it for you. Believe me. Okay. Okay, how do you drag a region? Well, there is a common move that I'm sure you're, you're seeing in all the different videos, but I do it in all the videos so it's easy to understand. You can shift, left click, and you see how the, the lines show up there like that? You know, if I'm, I'm moving the mouse up and down, it won't move, go up or down. It's locked in that track, moving right or left. And if I let go, it moved it. If I hold down the control key and do that, now it's locked up or down. It will not move right or left. So I can move that right down there and it stays right in the right where it is in the time. It does not move at all. Now you can also copy with this move and either either move. Well, let me show you this too though. If I shift left click and let go, now I'm free to move it anywhere I want. And that goes with the control too. See? I'm going to move here, I let go, now I can go anywhere I want. Works on both the shift and, uh, and control left click moves there, left drags. Now, in either of these moves also, when I'm performing the move, say I'm going to move up and down here to this, this I want to bring this region down to track four. While I'm holding down the control key, I mean, actually, it's the left mouse button. While I'm holding down the left mouse button, if I right-click and let go, I just copied it from there to there. And it's perfect because I held down the control key while I was doing it. It didn't alter. I can also hold the control key down, go over here. I can right-click here, and I just copy. And it's just simply while the left mouse button is down, you, you tap the right mouse button, it's, and, it, and it copies. And it goes the same with the shift.